If you've created an online course or membership site using Thrive Apprentice, or if you plan to in the future, you'll want to take note of the user access features available to you, because the last thing you want is for the wrong people to have access to all of your Thrive Suite plugins. And you probably also don't want your WordPress admin bar to show on your course pages, and you probably also don't want your students to accidentally stumble onto this not so attractive WordPress dashboard page. So in this video, you'll learn where and how to change these settings. Hi, I'm Christine with Thrive Fiends. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, here is your friendly reminder to do so. And if you ring the bell, you'll be notified when we publish new videos. So the Thrive User Access Manager is where you can manage three important settings, permissions for different user roles, admin bar visibility, and your WordPress login redirect. WordPress comes with six default user roles, super admin, administrator, editor, author, contributor, and subscriber. Each of these roles has a different set of permissions. For example, an administrator can edit all posts and pages. They can also moderate comments and they can switch themes and a lot more. Whereas a contributor is much more limited. They can only edit their own posts. So as you grow your business and add members to your team, managing user access is one of those minor details that actually becomes extremely important because you definitely don't want people to start poking around and messing with your lead generation forms, quizzes, etc. So we have made it really easy to manage backend access to Thrive Suite plugins per user role. So let's take a look. Let's go to the Thrive dashboard. Then let's go to the user access manager. And then on the left here, you can select a user role, and then you can select which of the Thrive plugins this user role has access to. So for example, let's say you want your authors to be able to access only Thrive Architect, you can easily make that change. So the ability to change these permissions is really handy if you have a team of people working on your site and you have authors working on blog posts and maybe you have an editor overseeing everything and you want each role to have different permissions. Now, if it's just you running your site and you also have Thrive Apprentice students, then your Thrive Apprentice students are likely going to have the subscriber role. Now, by default, subscribers do not have access to the back end of any of your Thrive Suite plugins. However, they will still be able to take your Thrive Apprentice courses and join your email list via Thrive Leads and also take your quizzes, but they just can't create new courses or make changes to your Thrive Leads forms, etc. Next, toward the bottom of the page, you'll notice there's two options, admin bar visibility and WordPress login redirect. So the user role that these settings mostly pertain to is the subscriber role, because that is the role your students and members will be registered as. And what I mean by that is when you offer a free course as a lead magnet, as a paid course, or if you offer a membership program, in order for people to sign up to get that content, they will need to create an account and register on your site. When they create their account, the WordPress role they will be assigned is that of a subscriber. The admin bar is the black bar at the very top of the page. As you can imagine, when one of your students logs in to access their course material, it doesn't look very professional if they can see that admin bar. Now Thrive Apprentice does disable the admin bar for subscribers, but occasionally it still shows due to server configurations that are hard coded by hosting companies. So we've given you the option to force hiding it. Let's take a look at the options. So if you set this to inherit, it will give way to any other plugins or server configurations that are trying to either show or hide it. You can now override it yourself by setting it to hidden or displayed. We recommend setting it to hidden for subscribers or any other roles not used by you or your team. That way your students and members will only see the beautiful templates and pages that you have set up in Thrive Apprentice without any distractions. Lastly, let's talk about the WordPress login redirect setting. So a few years ago, we released a visually editable login and registration form. And also just in case users find your default WordPress admin login form, we added the ability to customize that as well. So if you'd like to learn how to customize those pages, we do have tutorials for those. Now WordPress has a default setting that is quite annoying. When someone resets their password, WordPress redirects users to this page, the backend of your website. 
doesn't look so great. So now with the WordPress login redirect setting, you can change that. If you set it to inherit, this will let any other plugin override the redirect. You can also send people to your WordPress dashboard if you like. You can also redirect people to your home page. You can redirect people to a custom page of your choosing. And you can also redirect people to your apprentice home page. Now you of course can choose any setting you like. Our general recommendation is to set the subscriber role, which is likely what your students are enrolled as, set the WordPress login redirect to your apprentice home page. And that way your students, when they reset their password, after they make that change, they will be sent to the apprentice home page instead of the WordPress backend. So they'll have a sleek user experience, which just makes your website look a lot more professional and keeps everything looking on brand. All right, so now it's your turn to head on over to your user access manager and make sure these settings are just as you want them. You can get Thrive Apprentice and the rest of our tools when you purchase Thrive Suite. Click the link in the description to learn more. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.